Fresh Foam or Fresh Foam X? That is the question. Hey guys, Ed Butt here, and today I'm going to be discussing that burning question. Does the Beacon 3 have Fresh Foam or Fresh Foam X? Since I grabbed this pair of the New Balance Beacon version 3 a couple of months ago, it's been really nagging away at me. What is this Fresh Foam X business all about? Does this shoe actually have a different type of midsole foam or is it just the standard stuff? There's been lots of contradicting information here and there around the internet. Some people reckon it's standard Fresh Foam, some people reckon it's Fresh Foam X. I think it's a little bit more involved than that. So today I want to dig a little deeper into this mystery, establish if in fact this shoe has the same midsole foam as its predecessors, the Beacon V1 and 2, or perhaps if it has more in common with one of the other New Balance Fresh Foam models, the 1080 V10, which apparently has Fresh Foam X. So it says anyway. Firstly, I reached out to New Balance to try and get some clarification. My initial email was way back in June, just after I picked up these shoes. They seem to be available in the UK for ages before they were available in the US. So back in June, the first response I received was that the sole of the Beacon 3 is made from regular fresh foam. So it's not a Fresh Foam X midsole shoe, apparently. You could say it was quite a clear and concise explanation there. But after I watched a few other videos and there's loads of internet forum posts surrounding this shoe and what type of midsole material it's got, I still felt that the mystery was unsolved. So in August, I tried again to gain some clarification on the midsole of this shoe. And this is what I received. Our Fresh Foam Beacon version three are part of the Fresh Foam X collection. However, this merely means it's a high performance trainer that contains fresh foam technology. So a link was supplied along with this email that showed the different categories of fresh foam shoes. There's one that with fresh foam and then one that was called fresh foam X. Though some of the shoes within the fresh foam X category just appeared to say they had fresh foam. The email also said something really humorous. It said that the fresh foam X collection are more superb shoes and designed for better results. The email continues. See the outside of the trainers. It just says Fresh Foam, but the insole or tongue says Fresh Foam X. I reply to that email with another message of my own, asking if Fresh Foam and Fresh Foam X were two distinct midsole materials. Here's the answer I received. The three versions of the shoe offer the same features that also include fresh foam technology. However, the insole itself may vary as it is still the same technology, but not exactly the same trainer. Huh? Generally though, it should offer you the same cushioning and responsiveness. Besides that, other small differences would be the mesh upper for more breathability and a more updated design for aesthetic purpose. The heel to toe drop, arch and last have all stayed the same. So the same cushioning and responsiveness, slight mesh update in the upper, that's about it by all accounts. I took the insoles out of the version three and the version one that I've got here and they seem to be pretty much the same. Very, very thin, more like a sock liner really than an insole. The insole that's in the 1080 V10 is actually much thicker I think that's an Ortholite insole in there. Just wafer thin ones within the beacon. So, does this close the case of whether it's Fresh Foam or Fresh Foam X in the Beacon 3? I mean, the outsole rubber sections are a little bit different on the two shoes. Yes, placement is pretty much the same, but the shapes are a little bit different, I guess. There's not much in it though. Just squeezing them in hand like this, it does feel like the same level of cushion. The touch test, very similar, yeah. There's not an awful lot to that. I think if you want my honest opinion on whether it's Fresh Foam or Fresh Foam X in this shoe, I think it's Fresh Foam and I don't think there is anything called Fresh Foam X. I don't think it exists. I think the categorization there is to simply allow New Balance to place the shoes into different tiers with the Beacon appearing in the Fresh Foam X category now. Perhaps they're slightly higher performance shoes. When you actually look on the New Balance website, Fresh Foam X isn't really a thing. All of the shoes that are in the Fresh Foam X category 
are listed as using fresh foam technology. Underfoot, I feel little difference between the version 3 and version 1 of the Beacon. And in terms of performance, the only major difference really, aside from that heel collar, is in the weight of the shoe. It's a slight weight increase in the Beacon 3. Between the 1080 and the Beacon, there is a massive difference in terms of the foam feel. Could it be the way they've prepared the foam? Something they've done to it perhaps? I don't know. There does feel a difference between these two though. Underneath the insoles though, perhaps, it's not really that different. I mean, other factors are there to separate these two shoes, including weight. There's lots more rubber on the outsole of the 1080 V10. It's designed as being a more heavyweight, heavily cushioned shoe rather than the Beacon 3 being more nimble and lightweight. The website does mention that there's an updated version of the Fresh Foam technology in the midsole of the 1080, but it doesn't really state whether Fresh Foam X is in fact a type of midsole. Again, I think it's more of a category of shoe. That aside, I could be wrong, and I'm sure some people will come on here and tell me that I'm wrong. I'm just saying how it appears to me in terms of the information that I've received, taking all of that into account and coming up with a conclusion. Have you won the 1080 V10 or the Beacon series from New Balance? What do you think? Is this just standard fresh foam stuff in here? Does it really warrant being in that fresh foam X category? Certainly this shoe seems a lot more cushioned to me than the Beacon. But then again, it's got a much thicker Ortholite insole. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments. A TV recommendation for the younger viewers. Back in the 80s, there was a fantastic TV show called The A-Team. I fondly remember warm summer nights where I was allowed to stay up late and watch it with my dad. It followed four ex-soldiers who had left the army in strange circumstances and they survived as soldiers of fortune on the run from the army. They were basically do-gooders really. They'd find somebody that needed help or at least the people that needed help would find them. Great characters in there like the Face Man, Howling Mad Murdoch, B.A. Baracus, and of course, Colonel Hannibal Smith. There were many, many seasons of the A-Team, and I always remember a fact. It could be that I've just completely conjured this up, but I, I believe that Princess Diana used to let Harry and William watch the A-Team because nobody ever perished in it. There were these bizarre, huge explosions and then you know, someone would crawl out and they'd be fine, just, they'd just be a little bit dazed. I used to love the parts where they got locked in some sort of barn or they were surrounded and they would put all their DIY skills to use to create some awesome vehicle to aid their escape. Do go and check it out if you can find it on one of your streaming services. You won't be disappointed. The A-Team. I'm sure some of the older viewers will have some fond memories of that one. Right, it's time for me to mosey off into the sunset. If you've enjoyed the video today, make sure you give it a thumbs up like and share it with your running buddies. It also helps out if you'd hit that subscribe button and click the bell for notifications on when we launch those new videos. My name's Ed Bud and I'll be seeing you.